Alright guys, welcome to This Week in Wrestling, covering everything that's gone on over the course of the past week and what a week it was as we kick things off with the news that AJ Styles made his WWE debut this past Sunday at the Royal Rumble where he made a shock appearance early in the match at number 3. Unfortunately, Styles didn't go on to win the match, instead he was eliminated by Kevin Owens, who out of the entire roster I think was one person that fans could live with, especially if it leads to Styles vs Owens in the near future. Coming off the Rumble, Styles had an impressive Raw debut where he defeated Chris Jericho and then he followed that up by defeating Curtis Axel on SmackDown using the Styles Clash, something that he kept teasing at the Rumble and on Raw. Staying with Styles, WWE have released his new theme, entrance video and t-shirt, so if you want to check those out, the links are available in the description. As we switch topics, another name that has been mentioned alongside Styles following his apparent sign is Shinsuke Nakamura and WWE have not only confirmed that he has signed but they've also announced that Nakamura will be heading to NXT where he'll make his debut at NXT TakeOver Dallas on April 1st where he takes on Sami Zayn. Now, speaking of TakeOver, another name announced for the card is fellow NXT newcomer Austin Aries as he's set to go one-on-one -on -one with the lone wolf Baron Corbin. Now, as mentioned previously, WWE have been suffering a little bit of an injury crisis as of late and things don't appear to be getting any better as it was revealed this past week that former Divas champion Nikki Bella underwent surgery to repair a herniated disc in her neck, an injury that is potentially career-threatening. The surgery was set to be a success, so that is good news, but only time will tell if she'll be cleared to return to the ring. Staying with injuries, and Sheamus tweeted out this photo on Thursday of himself in a cast, and news reports claim that he's suffering from tendonitis. However, WWE have announced that he'll be part of the next network special where he'll take on Roman Reigns. Also suffering at present are both Alberto Del Rio and Naomi. Del Rio is on vacation in Suplex City where he's dealing with a back issue that has kept him out since the Rumble after landing badly from a Lesnar Suplex, while Naomi's injury has not been disclosed. Switching focus from WWE to TNA, and last night seen reports of an altercation between Awesome Kong and Matt Hardy's wife Rebby Sky, and that led to Awesome Kong being sent home from this week's TNA UK tour. According to some reports, Kong threw Rebby's bags out of the women's locker room and refused to let her get changed, while others say she got physical and Kong had to be pulled away. Finally, in some better news for TNA, Dixie Carter this week announced that Jeff Hardy has signed a new deal with the company after his old deal was set to expire this month, meaning Jeff will be staying with Impact Wrestling for at least another year. So that's great news for TNA fans, but for any WWE fans like myself, who were hoping to see the Hardys meet up with the Dudleys in WWE for one last run, we're going to have to wait a little bit longer. Anyway guys, that is all for this week in wrestling, but make sure I get involved in the comments and let me know your thoughts on Jeff re-signing with TNA. Do you think it's a good move considering all the talent WWE have just signed, or would you prefer him to come home? Let me know your thoughts on that and this week's question of the week in the comments, as well ask what did you think of AJ Styles' debut? Which, judging by the responses across the bottom of the screen, can be summed up with one word phenomenal. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, a like is greatly appreciated, but I hope you all have a great weekend, and until next time, I'll catch you later.